Hey guys, what's up? It's free. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. So today is going to be a hair review on this brand here. It's called Reshine. I am going to be showing you guys how I reinstall this unit. I have been wearing this unit for uh, about, I think this is my third time wearing this unit. So I'm going to tell you guys my opinion about it, what I feel about it, but this is the final look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I get this look, go ahead and continue to watch this video hey guys what's up it's Bree. welcome back to my channel so today tonight is going to be a hair review i'm recording at night i am going to brunch tomorrow with my friend and i had to wash and reinstall this wig this wig is by reshine and it is a curly wig a 13 by 4 so we're gonna just restall it this is a nice wig. I did wear it about two times already. Um, and I honestly can say that the lace is a little bit thicker than I like, but it is still a nice wig. It's just a little thick around the lace um, to me. But I do still like the wig. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this wig down. I think I'm gonna just use today Cause I'm probably gonna keep this on for about three days to the weekend. I'm gonna go ahead, oh, I got so much makeup and crap in my nails. So, and pump is grass all over me. I'm gonna go ahead and use my bow hole to glue this down with like a pencil. I love using this glue when I don't plan on having my wig on for that long. I just want something quick and easy and I have so many reviews to do so I'm gonna wear this about two or three days but I do I am familiar with the hair and how the hair holds up the hair is beautiful like I said the hair is beautiful I just feel like the lace is a little bit on the thicker side but it is still really nice so I'm gonna pull this lace up to about right here. I already know where my lace needs to be because it's a little lighter in that area. <laughs> so it's pretty much stuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my way with this side. This glue is so easy to use. If you're not a pro, get the bow hole, super hole, liquid gold. <laughs> this is perfect for if you're not a pro. And it is not the same as got to be gel, y'all. It is like 10 times better. Like it's gonna hold, hold. Sometimes I skip this step because y'all already know. So, yeah, I'm gonna hold this here, make sure everything is nice and laid, hold it tight, and I'm gonna glue this side on, and then we're gonna style this hair together, you guys. Okay, so. y'all, the wig is pretty much glued on. So, in order for me to, like, be able to wear this wig, because I'm not really too fond of the lace part, um, I'm going to have to finesse it a little bit with baby hairs. Now, when my lace is a little bit more thicker than I like it, I always have to use <laughs> baby hairs to cover it up. Um, that's what I do. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut some baby hairs, baby edges, whatever you want to call it. So, and this is curly hair. With curly hair, I feel like you can have more baby edges. But I even have to put it, um, baby hairs in the front. I never usually put baby hairs right here. But I'm going to have to because I don't like the way the lace is in the front. Okay, you guys. So, I put some baby hairs. Now, these baby hairs are a little bit fuller than I would normally do. But, like I told you guys, I am trying to hide the lace. And it is pretty thick pretty 
thick, but it's gonna do. So I'm gonna unplat the hair. And the reason I didn't record me doing these baby hairs because they were a little hard to do today. I don't know why, but they were. Um, I don't know, how should we style this hair? Should I do, it's really pretty though. It's really cute. One thing about me, I'll finesse something now. <laughs> And this is the hair dry, pretty dry. So it's a 13 by um, four frontal. So you can't really, the part in the middle goes back about right here, but I don't think I want to do a part in the middle. So probably, maybe we'll do like a push over, like something like this, but wet of course. So let's do this and let's wet this hair down. I'm gonna go ahead and take my little water spray. Some people will wear their hair out like this, but me, I like my hair to be a little bit more defined. I love this bottom. I'll leave an Amazon link. I got this from my local beauty supply store. It's like a mister. I want the curls to be like really popping. So I'm gonna take sections and wetting it down. This is like the perfect hair for vacation. Now that the hair is pretty much defined, now I'm gonna take some curl, what's curls to go? Curl cocktail that I got from Burlington's um, Jane Carter. I'm gonna put this on the hair. The curls are beautiful. So I'm gonna make sure I put enough product because I don't like really big curly hair. Then I kind of scrunch it up a little bit. <sighs> okay guys, so here is the final look with this hair. This hair is perfect for vacation if you are looking for a vacation unit. So it is really, really cute. I love the natural wave pattern on it and the way the curls dry. This is the hair 100% dry. You don't wanna manipulate the curls. You just wanna wear it like this. Don't finger comb your hair. Don't comb through your hair that much. You gotta just kinda leave it like this. But this is really cute if you're into curly hair. I do recommend this unit. It's called Reshine. Check them out. I'll leave the link to the unit down below. And yeah, I really like this unit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you later.